Hey guys, thanks for checking in, because in today's video, we're gonna be making this planter box. For this build, I'm gonna be using four by fours, two by sixes, and two by twos. I'm running the four by fours through the planer. You can avoid this if you find good enough four by fours. There just wasn't a good selection the day I got there. I'm using the four by fours to make rectangular legs. So I'm gonna start by cutting them to length with the miter saw. It's always a good idea to mock up your pieces before fastening them together. And it's a good thing I did that because I noticed that the side pieces made the legs a little bit taller than I wanted. So before fastening it all together, I actually cut the side pieces a little bit shorter. So putting together the pieces for the legs, you could use a 5 inch screw, but because 5 inch screws are a little bit more expensive, I decided to use a forcer bit to drill into the 4x4s, so that way I could use 3 inch screws that start halfway through the 4x4s and make enough contact through the other side. I made sure to drill from only the top and bottom, so that way you won't see any of these holes. Now it's time to cut the pieces for the planter box to length. I decided to do mitered corners for the planter box, and you absolutely do not have to do this. I just thought it'd look a little bit cleaner. Doing a butt joint would look just as good. I'm using a 2x2 two two on each corner to hold both pieces together and then screwing a two inch screw to both sides to create each corner of the box. After I'm done screwing each piece together to the two by two, I'm using my brad nailer to nail the outside together just to make sure that there's no gaps on the mitered corner. Then it's just sanding out the sharp edges and then cutting the excess 2x2 two two with a pull saw. After I've got all the sides of the planter box done, I'm going to use my orbital sander with 150 grit sandpaper to just smooth in the outside. I also do the same thing to the legs. I decided to spray paint the legs and I use this color called Stone by Rust-Oleum and it makes it look like cement, so I really like how it came out. After painting one side of the legs, I really didn't like how paint looked on the end grain portion of the legs, so I decided to sand off the paint and fill in the end grain with wood filler, let that dry for a little bit, and then sanded it to smoothen that area out. It looked tons better when I painted over that smoothened end grain.
I used 2x6s on the miter saw to cut slats for the bottom portion of the planter box. And I'll be using pocket screws to fasten them. I wanted to make sure that I had enough slats to fill in a good amount of the underside of the planter box. So again, it's always a good idea to mock it up. And here, I'm just making two pocket holes on the underside of each slat. Now this planter box is going to be outside, so you got to make sure that it can withstand the elements. So I'm going to be using Danish oil, so that way I know it'll hold up. Or at least I hope so. After letting each coat dry for 4 hours, I screwed the planter box to the top of the legs. I cut a piece of chicken wire to lay across the bottom of the planter box. And used a stapler to make sure it gets held in place. I also lined the inside of the planter box with plastic, again using staples to hold that into place. And then made holes where the slats lie so that way water can still drain down. And that's basically it. Now it's time to fill the box with soil and some plants. <laughs> 